Assalamu alaikum indulgers, ya gishrwa ya ibada. I hope you're all having a wonderful Ramadan. Today's recipe is a very refreshing drink, lamunjin in Samia or tamarind lamunjin. So to make this recipe you're going to need a few simple ingredients. A knob of ginger, some grains of paradise, some African pepper or negro pepper and some cloves. All of these ingredients will be placed into a blending cup with some warm water and I'm going to blend away. Once I'm done blending I'm going to use a cheesecloth to separate all the rough material from the liquid. Into a bowl I'm going to add my tamarind. If you are getting packaged tamarind, be sure to avoid any tamarind that has been salted. Ideally you want to purchase something that is 100% tamarind without any additional ingredients. So I'm going to soak this tamarind in a bowl with some hot water. You can do this overnight. Make sure that you have softened and extracted the tamarind pulp. But if you decide to do this on a whim, then go ahead and use hot water and let it soak until it cools down. So once my tamarind has been soaking and the hot water has cooled down, I'm going to add in the liquid and the spices and the ginger. I'm going to mix everything together and start to break the tamarind apart. So after about half an hour, I've strained the tamarind and I've used my hands to separate any of the pulp from the remaining tamarind seeds. I then added more hot water into a bowl just to remove any more of the tamarind fruit that I might have missed out on the first time. So I repeat this process and go ahead and strain the tamarind once again. Once the last bit of tamarind has been run through the colander, I'm going to run the entire lamunjin through a cheesecloth. This is to make sure that we have smooth lamunjin without any unwanted particles. Our tamarind lamujin is looking good. Now we're going to serve. And to serve, I'm going to fill up my cup with some ice and then some simple syrup. Simple syrup is just a combination of hot water and sugar. I will be sharing this recipe with all of you shortly. Often when we add raw sugar to drinks, the sugar settles onto the bottom of the jug. So by using simple syrup, you really don't have to worry about any of that. I also prefer adding simple syrup because everyone can customize the amount of sugar that they want inside their drinks or they can decide to leave out the sugar altogether. You can also use honey or stevia to sweeten this drink. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please leave a comment and hit that like button for me. If you are a returning subscriber, Thank you for indulging me with your presence and if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button because we have a number of Ramadan inspired recipes coming your way. Until we meet again in my next video, Ramadan Kareem.